Hey, this is Chris from Pixelwix, and we're just showing you a couple of the new changes in the 2.2 of Pixelwix Projection Calculator. Now, if you haven't seen the Projection Calculator, we've got a bit more of an overview on the website there for that. But this is just about the changes. Incidentally, what it is is a projection calculator that can virtually uh, design your complete projection screen and projection layout uh, from pick and projectors and so on. That's what the real tool does. But let's go over the changes. We just want to do a short video on that sort of thing. So here I have a, an array of four projectors on a curved screen. And I've worked out which projector actually um, I should choose from the database. And I've placed them and I can see the actual projector in place. Now, we used to be have to select the projector here and go over to the uh, tools on the left here and move it backwards and forwards or try and do it with the mouse in the 3D world, which is a little bit awkward. Um, but now we've actually got these new um, arrow widgets that have turned up on the object. And what happens now is you put your mouse over, the object of mount, the mouse object changes to an arrow and you can select it and you can move the projector in that plane. So we can move it up and down up, like this. We want to go forward and backwards, we just go forward and backwards and side to side and it follows the line in from the center of the projector there uh, one of the other tools is kind of handy is where the circle appears on each one of these arrows and if you put your mouse over it it turns into a rotational tool so let's have a quick look at that so now we can rotate the projector around the axis and obviously this is all real time we see exactly the effect on the projected image that would happen if you did this in the real world and that enables me to kind of just go there and say, yeah, let's just do this. And maybe I need to rotate it around a little bit on its plane like that to cover the whole thing. Anyway, that's quite a cool just to get the alignment correct. So that's the new uh, control um, widget that we've added to the uh, whole thing. It works on the uh, projected images and objects and so on in the scene here. Um, one of the other big things that's happened um, in the projection calculator is the ability to send a video source down the virtual projector. Now we had the ability to put the images and uh, this is just the particular white light coming through with a projector identifying number and you could have always put down a picture but here's something spout. Now spout enables me to send actual video content so I'm going to go and select my spout source and I'm using a piece of software called the Pixelwix spout media player and this has four um, channels of spout information, spout media, and a desktop catcher. So that's kind of handy. I've just put that one in here and I can hit play and now it's sending it to the projector which you see here. And you can hear the audio at the same time. So I'll just move this out of the way. And you can see there is our projected image and it's still going through the real time controls of everything we have. So it's just like there it is, a 16.9 piece of movie played by a 16.9 projector. And we can see what it looks like. Really quite a cool. Now, most um, media playback software that's used for projection mapping, like um, Resolume and things like that, they have a spout output directly. And each channel uh, video would have a spout number. And uh, this is what effectively what we've got here. There's a spout um, number for each media channel. So I could have projector one, one piece of media, projector two, another piece, and so on. I can, I can pick what goes on. Um, but what happens if you said, um, okay, that's great. So now we want to be able to do that on this whole array. So we can go into here and say, now analyze the warp and blend and use a spout input. So I select that. So it's now going through the analysis to see whether the warp blend is capable and it's going to blend all my projectors together as one and create one big image as if it comes from my computer. Now still using the same spout source and you can select the spout source that you want again from here. So um, this is the uh, one with the movie on that we just played so I can play it and we'll hear the same thing. There it is. There's the, let me just make it a little bit bigger. So we can kind of check out everything that's in this uh, content to see how it works. Well, one thing I can tell you for sure is that this content was written for 1920 by 1080 and that ain't what we've got anymore, right? So the aspect ratio is being stretched. I mean, that droplet is oval and it's supposed to be round. So that's exactly what we can see straight away now what's going wrong. So I'm going to put in there a piece of media that is actually made for that screen. So I'm dragging that into my little movie player. Actually, that's all I do is, is you grab hold of the movie that you want, you drag it to the lip box and you let go. And I'm going to play that back here. 
So this was made for this screen. So now you can see it's perfect aspect control. So obviously you make the soft the media to the actual size of the screen and everything looks perfect. And this is the way I can really check now, have I done everything right? Does my screen and aspect ratio of my final project look correct? And of course it does. And it was great. So now we get to know, does it look good? Does it sound good? Everything's right. Build it. That's the way you work. Um, so that's really good. Now, of course, not every piece of software has spout output. A lot of uh, VJ programs, a lot of projection mapping programs do. Um, but just basic stuff, like maybe you're designing something for Unity or Unreal Engine. They don't have spout output, so what do you do now? So what you do is you play um, the spout, and our spout media player actually has desktop. So I'm now going to grab my desktop imagery and send that through the spout. And you can see it says here, Pixel Wix Desktop. Select that and apply. And here's my desktop on another monitor to the right-hand side of this one. So I can, if I move this around, you see everything happening. So now I can actually go and play uh, a game or kind of like a game developer engine to find out what is going to look like on my screen. I could even pr put one some of those flight simulation software running on one screen and see it through my screen to make sure everything looks correct as I expected it to um, in my simulation. So there it is, 2.2 with Spout. So this is Chris from Pixelwix. Catch you on the next one.